You do what you need to do, friend. You do what you need to do. You know? Just red boy baby oil on it, fine. Isn't that the worst scenario? The worst environment scenario? scenario? Baby oil's bad for silicon, is it not? No, it's good news. Okay. That's good. Right, first things first is we put the fucking suit on because we definitely didn't do that last time. And um, as a result, it fucked everything up. Right. Where are we going this time? That wasn't what I wanted to do. That one. That was the one we went to before. And, okay, yeah, it's cool. We're going there. Look away, no worries, no worries, no worries. You, got, you missed it, release the filth, um, getting into the bloody discussion of the price of stuff at a rugby club. Yeah. I mean, I'm not good that you missed it. I'm perfectly fine that people miss the, uh, the PG stream, because that's... That's not what I'm about at all, you know? A bot autopilot. I want to I wanna just find out whether I want to reverse. I want to find out whether we can see the storms from above. So that's where one of the islands that's getting shot up into the sky which is fine because the islands always get shot up into the sky I want to see whether we can um, like see the Oh, it's there. Okay, let's let's see if we can get let's see if we can get into it. Oh, wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm. I know there's a way down below, but I want to try and get in from above. From above. Damn it. Come on, you bastard. We can do this. But it seems to be going that way, so let's... Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Right, if we land it here, then we should be fine. Because this is where it all is. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, what I wanted to do at all, by any stretch of the imagination, didn't want to do that. That's what I wanted to do. Where were we? Um, okay, no, because I don't want to misinform. Do not put over oil, coconut oil, or oil based lubricants on your silicon toys. People, water based only. Agreed. Agreed. Right. We're going this way. And we're going to go up the top of it for the time being. Although... Okay, I'm not going to go up the top of it for the time being. I'm going to go straight down. Because... Huh. This is some kind of vent, maybe? Okay, cool. Be detected, oxygen tanks refilled. Cool, in which case we must need to go up the top there. Um, 
on latex, especially not latex condoms. It breaks down the latex. Silicon lube does not go well with silicon toys. Only time part of the suction cup um, was affected, and you can clearly see the silicon swell up. Oh god, the worst. Uh, let silicon um, prayer crosses touch the bag for a while. Bad times. Oh no. Good though, though, we've got people with information, though. Right. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares all, with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Well, the, the, one of the great things about this game is the fact that... But what? What is going on there? Is the fact that this... My, my species are all non-binary. I think it's fucking great. Right, let's go. Where the fuck are we going, though? That is the question. Well, let's take good care of my latex. Don't worry. Aha! Okay. Um, I took the drawer up my nightstand and just walked over to the bathroom and cleaned everything, then dried with a lint-free cloth and powdered the latex down again. It was now um, probably stored and the loop is now a different place to stay. Yes, very much so. Enter this place without friends. However, there are lessons to learn for yourself. Okay. So this is where... Nothing is. Okay. All right, let's go. How about this? Huh. Interesting. Seek the wandering arc or arch. Okay. Go, go, Amy. Go, go do your thing. Thank you very much for lurking. I appreciate that. Seek the one. That is an arch. Bastard! So this stuff is made of the same material. That, um... Okay, I see. So I can't let it out of my sight. Aha! Okay. God damn it. Weird shit is going on. I can't picture what a uh, silicon prayer cross is. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Okay. Observing the image of a quantum object are the same. Ah, okay. So... The image of a quantum object. Could it be this? Observing the quantum object and observing the image of a quantum object are the same. Oh. So if I keep that there... This should not move. 
theoretically, because I'm watching it. Yes, okay, we're good. Working things out, using my brain. Use it, Jesus, fucking what? What is going on? Oh, okay. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Quantum object. Thank the weeping angels. Oh, yeah, that's not that. Mm. Do not naturally meet. Reach. Oh, okay. What? Okay, so I... Right, that. There we go, okay. So theoretically. Like that, was that what I was meant to do? Okay, I think. Jesus, seek the wandering ass. That's me. That is me. Like, anybody that ever went to fucking, like, Twitch London will know that I am the wandering ass. Why are you still here? Right, you stay there. Okay. So there is... Oh, good lord. Oh, god damn it! Come here, you. You do be wondering. I am a wanderer. I am a massive wanderer. People were like, you're like made of magic, Valen, because you like go through one area and then suddenly appear in a different tunnel entirely. I'm like, what can I say? You know what I mean? Really impressed with how quickly you're going through this. Thank you very much. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Okay. Right, let's... Aha, okay, okay. Okay. There we go. No, 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 no. Because these are quantum bastards as well. Okay, we're good. What? What? You. <laughs> God damn it, stop flashing at me. How's it going, Lady Cleo Cabaret? Right. Thank you. Oh, you stay there. I want to see what's, what, what you're all about first. Damn it! Uh, uh. We offer our congratulations. You have learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow you later. Okay. Interesting. Right, so there's a quantum leap thing there. Hey. Is there any more graffiti around here? No?
Okay, cool. Bye! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, I have learned, learned things. I have learned things. I'm guessing that's all that was in there. So I've learned uh, like quantum imaging, so I can literally use um, the image of quantum objects to keep them where they are. Useful. Let's go. Oh, by the way, uh, Lady Cleo, are you still here, my love? Are you still here? It was fucking amazing. How's it going? Is Danny? How you doing? Miko, how's it going? Just pop by and say hi and hope stream as well. well. Stream is very good. Stream is very good. I'm really enjoying things. There was a bit of an issue uh, before stream. There was a bit of an issue because some people decided that today was the day for PG streams and stuff. But um, Lady Cleo, yesterday. You claimed a smolder, you cheeky devil. Look at you coming in here getting a cheeky smolder. You claimed it yesterday, but there was chaos. Chaos occurring, and what did I have to do to it? No. I made you wait. They called it... Building anticipation. You know. What can I say? It's just one of them cheeky little things. It was absolutely splendiferous seeing you on a Saturday night, you cheeky devil. What can I say? I thoroughly enjoyed the sequence, you know? Cheeky individual, what do you like, eh? What do you like? Oh! Okay, this is incredible. <laughs> Diva Dwarf as well, you cheeky doll. Come here, you. Come here, you. What do you like claiming cheeky kisses? I mean, really? Resume. Let's go. So we've done everything on this. Do that. Um, but we haven't been. Huh. Oh, so we could have gone under it. Okay, interesting. So. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, boo. Boo, I say to you. Hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Surprise, small No. No! That way. I think we've done this one. We have done this one. We've definitely done this one. Oh, get back in there. Because otherwise we will fly into space. Um, We've done a quite a few of these little islands. We haven't done underneath it. But now that I know that we can get something from... The island, like each of the different planets, I'm wondering whether I need to do something first on one of the other places in order to, um, in order to be able to get down there. Okay, so we've learned about the quantum imaging. That's that is a good thing. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. Well, fuck it. Let's let's go there, as we come. And um, Cleo's still got you, Danny napped. Is this a problem? I am failing to see where the problem is here. Many people would would crave being uh, being claimed by by young Lady Cleo. Okay, so this is Dark Brambly. Dark Brambly is a, an ice planet that has been... Hello, what are you? The Interloper. The Interloper, where are you going? Oh, this is the, the comet. 
This is the comic we looked at before. That's fine. We don't need to worry about that shit. We briefly looked at that, but let's go Dark Bramble first. I want to go have a look. The, the last planet I want to go to is the fish one, because I know that's the one I'm going to enjoy the most. You know? Once again, music doing a fucking stellar job. Right. So this is a planet that's been... Um, what? Oh shit, okay. Not what I was expecting. Let's go towards this light and see what it is. Hello. But we're going in your throat. This was the fish planet. That was the last one I wanted to go to. Oh, I died. Oh, okay. All right, I died. I died. I died. Not a panicky opportunity. Let me turn this light on because it's a wee bit dark. So we've learned about quantum imaging. That was a worthwhile thing. That was a worthwhile thing. That was a worthwhile thing. To know. Do you know what I mean? <gasps> who's, the, who's the person that had the lovely long brown hair, the red jacket at Twitch London that was with you for a bit asking for a friend? Did they have a, um, uh, like a, a lace shirt on? Like a lace shirt? that came over and hugged me and said hi and, and all that jazz. And it was like a red dinner jacket type thing. Like a metallic -y red dinner jacket thing. How is someone playing the harmonica in space? Well, this is the thing. So this... Uh, this is... Um, it's a very interesting... I mean... There is definitely an aspect where things are a bit bizarre about this uh, state of the universe. For a start, the vast majority of my ship is made out of... The vast majority of my um, ship is made out of... Um, wood. So it's a bit... It's a bit... It's a bit different. It's a bit different, to say the least. Right, hold on. Before we go anywhere... Before we go anywhere... No... just want to have a quick look over here because I've just remembered that we found a thing. This will raise up and tell me a thing if I get something right. And I can't remember what the thing is that I need to get right. Something to do with this? Maybe. No. Okay, right. Okay, well, maybe maybe when we visited... The other stuff, we can do that. Okay. So they were your friend? Yeah, so I've known them for, for years and years. I didn't realize they were a streamer. Didn't realize they were a content creator at all, but it turns out they've got uh, quite a big TikTok. Uh, Ash Valmont is their name. Ash Valmont. With an A. Not Velmont. Valmont. Um, but yes, they are available on Twitch, and they are on TikTok and stuff as well, I believe. Right, Brittle. Fuck it, let's go Brittle Hollow. No, that's the other one. That's the other one. Let's go there. Um, Danny Planet is Danny. Exactly right. Problem with working from home in tech and being a streamer, remembering 
do not blow kisses to your teammates on the camera at the end of a meeting like very you do at the end of a show. Ooh, Amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much for the follow, you beautiful human being. I won't call your name out just in case you're lurking. But welcome on in. Okay. Oh, that that looks like a ship. That looks like a ship. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. This is good. Yeah, most of my ship, as you can see, is made out of like wood and bits of scrap and shit. Um, hello. So this is their ship. We've got a moon over there. All right. All right. Yeah, I would definitely be saying all my usual shizzle nizzles, I think. Okay, so Brittle Hollow, things get shot into the air and then come back down again, by the looks of things. Do I have to get up there? Or is there a doorway around here? Is there anything in that, or does it just blow up? Just blows up. Okay. Or is the doorway up at the top, maybe? The doorway's probably up at the top, isn't it? That's not what I wanted to do. Nope, doorway's not at the top. Ah. Doorway's underneath, maybe? Ah. Interesting. Somebody else is here. Because their ship is there. Interesting. I think me and the hubby have just done our eldest heading. He wanted to hit us with a frozen pizza. Oh, wow. Frozen pizza is bold. So that's where their ship is. Huh. Let's jump back in the ship and just have a little explore around here. So dark bramble. There's literally no entrance there, do you know what I mean? Oh, come on Val, you can do better driving than that, I think. Oh, hello, 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 hello. What's this? What is this, please? Right. First things first. We want to go... There. Amazing. 
Providing you stay there, it means that I can actually get onto there. I'll be able to see it regardless. Theoretically. Interesting. Okay, so... Ha-ha! Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a, uniquely, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the Wandering Moon, sounds the same. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling from the giant's deep, timber hearth, and the hourglass twins. Suppose there are other shards like it. Oh, okay, so is that the wandering moon? No, that's the Wandering Moon. No, that's the Island Shard. Tower Shard. Ships over there. Scouts over there. Ouch. Okay. You're very welcome, Denny. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Okay, so we've learned about quantum imaging. Let's learn more about quantum shit. Do you know what I mean? You're playing the best game. I love seeing people, um, what people make of it. Well, thank you very much. Is it Moonimon? Is, is that how you pronounce your name? Oh my fucking god. Hello? Take that, black hole. I'm going this way. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, friend. Talk to Ryback? Ryback? Okay. Oh, you launched. That's great, great job, you. Well, guess that means been out here a while, eh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. <laughs> a lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been a dream of m to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard what the others say, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. 
tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed it somewhere, but my little scout says it's halfway stable. Says it is halfway stable since of being sucked into uh, what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. Uh, you didn't come all this way to listen to me, Blather, did you? Hey, that'd be a yeah. Hmm, I learned something. Um, a friend, how's it going? It's Adine, how you doing? Lily, how you doing? Arriving at the same time for Brittle Hollow. Yeah, so we, we've just discovered whatever the planet was with the, the big hurricanes and stuff, or the cyclones. Um, we investigated the main tower of that. Um, though I know that there's some stuff in the center of the planet that I need to go have a look at, but I don't think I've worked out how to do that bit yet. So, yeah, I kind of just yeeted myself off a, off a platform, because why the fuck not, eh? Why the fuck not? Uh, I learned something. Oh, cool! What, what is it? Actually, never mind. Okay, if you find if you do find learn something about the Namai though, I do love to hear it. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, I mean. Where should I explore here? What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Oh, uh, uh, the archaeologist, I guess. Uh, seeing as I'm all the timber hearth's got right now. Brill Hollow is rich with Namai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture and history and science. If you have any questions about Brittle Hollow, Namai, I'm your Harthian. Or, oh, and, uh, well, I, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, uh, so maybe I can help. Where should I explore here? Oh, wow! Where shouldn't you explore here? I, uh, um, not, not the black hole, actually. That's very, that's very no. That's very no. Which is unfortunate, because, uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can see it from here. There's also a big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Namai structures here, there's probably a path to beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. If you want to uh, know anything about the Namai, I'd love to hear it. Not too much trouble. How's it going, Lamp? How you doing? Okay. So just below the crust is the Hanging City. That one? Huh. Okay. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Shit. 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Come on, get me in, get me, get me in, get me in the thing. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So, oh, okay, thanks. So, the singularity sent me here. Is what we basically learned. And I know where this is, because this is one of the first planets I actually went to go and have a look at. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, 
don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to the brittle to brittle hollow. Okay. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brutal Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happen when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment. Okay. What happens if we do it when the comet's in the place? I wanna know. What is going on? What are you doing? Are you shooting me into the sun? Can we go in the sun? Are you shooting me into the sun? What's going on? Oh, it's a directional thing. Or not, as the case may be. Huh. Nope, that's just whipping me round and round in circles. Uh, what? The fuck? What? 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 Oh, these are the warp gates. Interesting. But now I have a thing that I don't know what to do with. Huh? Oh. Uh, okay. Where the fuck am I now? Return warp status is charged. Stepped onto warp. Received a uh, platform activated. Return warp. Okay. Departure. Blah blah blah. Okay, I got no fucking idea where I am, but okay, let's do it. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out. Threatening through space is so uniquely stressful. I'm fucking loving it. I am a hazard in the as an individual. Absolute hazard of an individual, so I am perfectly okay with just bumble fucking my way through the universe. Okay. My a scout is 33.4 kilometers that way. Come on. Right, I want to find out what you say first. What do you say? Ramai and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Namai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. I understood this is exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can an Amai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd, because space-time works differently to that. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broke several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs around the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she kindly helped me to attempt recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. 
An update. Hoke, the high energy lab is on the cannon of the Ember Twins equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Okay, so the Ember Twins are something that I can look at. Holographic me. Ah. Wow. Hello, son. Fucking hell, talk about toasty. You are getting very swelled. Okay, interesting. The Namai staff. Okay. To our friend on Brittle Hollow. I just warped here from the White Hole Station, on the other side of the Brittle Hollow's black hole. Ah. Uh... No, no, no. 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 Where's the thing that I need? Shit, was it in the other thing? I couldn't worry about this later. Here. The music has started, which means the end of the world is happening. I want to see it from close up. I want to see it from close up. Don't you fucking dare. Turn round, you bastard. Turn round. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. Um, I was like swimming through a giant body of water. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No worries, Valiant Panda. You take it easy. First time I played this, I fell into a black hole. It was terrifying. Oh, I have realized that whatever the scenario, I will happily fucking run with it. I will just run with it. But like, yep, yeah, cool. Let's go with it. Yeet myself into a black hole. Yep, yeah, cool. Let's do it. Fucking do it. Do you know? Okay. Things are happening. Things are happening. But before we do that, friends, I'm going to take a momentary break because I need to go make a cup of tea and I need to put some some description of grub in my face because I've been streaming for like two hours and you need to get up and have a stretch and do your things. Do you know what I mean? So, friends, ladies and gentlemen and all the gentlemen outside and in between, get up, have a stretch, look at something in the distance, then look back again, stretch those eyes out a wee bit. Do you know what I mean? Grab some kind of beverage, hot, cold, or if the time is permitting, alcoholic... And uh, don't forget to take your meds. And if you're wearing a binder, have a couple of deep breaths. Stretch those lungs out. We'll be back in like two minutes, five minutes. Depends how long it takes for the kettle to boil, all right? Depends, uh, depends how long it takes the kettle to boil. I'll be back in a second, you beautiful human beings. I'll leave you some sexy little music while we, uh, while, we, uh, while we do the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? While we do the whole thing. See you in a minute.
Ah, totally worth it. Totally worth it, friends. Totally worth it. Thanks for waiting, Jums. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing all good. So hope you're all, everyone's all right. Everyone's doing all right. I've been really engrossed in this game. It's a very engrossing game, friends. I've just had a crumpet. It was great. It was absolutely glorious and wonderful. It made me very... Yeah, it just, just very salivate. It was good. It was salivatingly good is what it was. But, uh, but yeah, that was good. Thank you very much. Well, wait, I found this best snavely treats in Tesco this week. Christmas pudding brownie bites. I'm not a fan of Christmas pudding. So. Are they like brownie bites, but with like fruit in them? Is that, is that what's going on there? Is that what's happening? Is that what that is? I'm trying to think of like. Christmas treats. Twiglets. Twiglets are like a festive food, and they, they shouldn't be. They should be an all-round food, but they are like a festive food, you know? Um. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Brownies, but spiced light Christmas pudding, so there's a warmness of ginger. Ooh, okay. Okay, color me intrigued. Color me intrigued. Spiced chocolate. Yeah. I can see how that would work. I can see how that would work. Somebody came to Twitch London with brownies. But Twiglets are evil. Twiglets are not evil. Twiglets are a test of character, is what they are. Twiglets are a test of character. Some people have got strong, robust, elegant, delightful, amazing, phenomenal sensual and yet tantalizing characters and other people are wrong all right just the way it works were they special brownies no they were like normal brown they were really good they were like normal brownies but like the so because the, i said so basically this person this glorious individual came over and was like i have brownies do you want a brownie and i was like no because i'm drinking and I don't want anything to soak up the drink. I want to just get fucking smashed. Um, but if there are any at the end, I would love some. And she said, I'll save you some. And I was like, cool. Sounds like a plan to me. Um, and then at the end of the night, she came over and she was like, I saved you some brownies. And she had like a little plastic bag with two brownies in them. But they weren't like special brownies. I was amazed that she managed to get the brownies into the venue. Like mind blown because security was really tight they were checking it well they weren't tight with me but they were checking everybody else like checking people's bags and shit like that do you know what i mean like how the fuck you managed to get an entire cake tin full of brownies into fucking like a, a nightclub i have got no idea no idea at all you know they weren't even like in a packet they were in like a cake tin they were like obviously homemade brownies you know just me received a message on Twitter asking me why I'm so nice to people. They said it's unnatural. I replied, it's okay. I call you a cockwamble from now and then. Yeah. Why are you so nice to people? Because you're a nice human being. If people find it unnatural, that's because they've had a shit upbringing. What a fucking outrageous thing to say. Tell them to fuck off. Um, You love Twiglets? Twiglets are great. Twigs are, Twiglets are a test of character. Yeah. Yeah, I trust the character, you know? They're Marmite flavored. So, no, the, the stuff that they've covered in has Marmite in it, but I hate Marmite, but I love Twiglets. You know? So much respect. I didn't even have the brownies that day. I had the brownies the following day. The brownies, like, were on my, my trip home. I kept them for my trip home. They were very tasty. They were very, very tasty. I now want brownies, though. Now that we've talked about brownies, I now want brownies. Why have you done this to me, friends? Why have you done this to me? Bang it. You know? You'd balance being kind and generous by being somewhat cross about it. I just don't understand why people need to be nasty to people that are being nice. If somebody's being nice, let them be nice. As long as they're not being walked all over, that's the only like that's the only scenario where I'm like, look, you need to 
You need to be aware of where your niceness can get you. Because people will take advantage of that. But so long as that's not happening, let people be fucking nice. Do you know what I mean? Um. Uh, when you forgot to say that's it's truly unusual. I, um, and I see why I see it. I see it when they ask why. What? Well, why Kale is so nice? Because Kale's just a nice person. If you are suspicious of people being nice all of the time, like I am, like I am, it means that you've been walked all over in the past. But that doesn't mean that other people are wrong. Like, Kale being nice to me doesn't mean that she wants something from me. It's just because she's a fucking nice person and that's okay. You know? That's all right. Um, find it more natural because you're nice than nasty, if needs be, yeah. Like how I said um, I'd give my friend Charlie some Yorkshire tea bags by filling a freezer bag with them and yeeting them at his face. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. I can see that balance. Do you know what I mean? He said this was expected. Also had a flu jab today. Yay! Congratulations. Just take it easy for the next couple of days. At least they aren't giving Monty brownies. This is true, fuckers. I ate them in front of Monty. I was like, yeah, fuck you, Monty. How's it going, Lil Jam? How you doing? Um... Paid for by the company. Love it. Also hate Marmite, but love Twiglets. Yeast extract is yummy, but only in small amounts. Yeah, but the thing about it is, Lily, like, I will sit and eat an entire, like, tub of Twiglets. I find them really Moorish. And I have Marmite, like, in food. Like, I'll have Marmite in food, but I won't have it, like, on toast, for example. Like, I will use it within a sauce of some description to add a little punch to the sauce. But... Yeah, never, like, on toast by itself, you know? I realised I haven't put any earrings in. God damn it. Yeah, damn it. You know? Um, I noticed you say hello to people when they come in. Too, too fucking right. Too fucking right. They, this is the thing, though. This is one of the reasons. Like, Kale is one of the, the, the main reasons why we have such a welcoming community. Because people come in here and everyone says hi to them. People go into the Discord and people say hi to them. It's not a viewer trying to get streamer attention. It's a community. And you can tell. You can tell the, the people that are here just to get my attention. Because all they do is speak to me. They ignore everyone else. And they just speak to me. Now, I, I don't know about whether any of them are here in chat, but I think everybody that I'm looking right down the thing and out to, like everyone that I'm seeing within chat right now, you are all speaking to each other. You all have conversations together. Do you know what I mean? And that's what makes a community. There's none of this trying to get something for yourself. There's none of this just trying to get my attention out of a single one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. Because that shit doesn't work in this community. You know? You know? Can I eat a whole tub of Twiglets in one go? My gut would not forgive me. Fucking love it. I'm exactly the same. Marmite is a really good addition to a stew, but the idea of eating a spoonful of your diet... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You would have got mom! Oh, my God. Like a solid caramel rice pot. Trying to cause... Uh, uh, to try, because I've got one and... A glass of iced vanilla latte with an extra shot of espresso. Now watch what happens. The shits. The shits is what's going to happen. He's going to have the shits. God damn it. Use Bovril in stew. Vegetarian. Uh, Lily's a vegan as well. So, um, none of that. None of that going on here, you know. Obviously, Marmite, especially in cheese toasties. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. I, I think I don't like it when it's an overpowering flavor. But for some reason, Twiglets don't taste like Marmite to me. No idea what any of this is. I looked it up and I'm still confused. Um, they're very much a love or a hate thing. They're like little. They they they're called twiglets because they look like twigs, and um, yeah, they're very much things in the UK. But there's a lot of people that will happily like spit them straight, like put them in my mouth and spit them straight back out again because the the flavor is very much a you love it or you hate it. You know, probably would do if I wasn't a filthy veggie yet. Um. Marmite is the thing from the UK mostly, made from yeast extract. Very umami in flavor. Very strong. Is that is that 
Umami? Iranu. Ufavu. Umami. That's shooting stars, isn't it? No? Um, people just seem to find weird fruit for some reason. If people are nice to me, I'll be nice back. Simple as, yeah. I, don't, I, I just don't understand it. Don't understand why people would have a go at you for being nice. Do you know what I mean? Don't understand why people that try Marmite for the first time just to eat a straight spoon of it. Yeah, yes. Yes, I agree with you. Like, Marmite on toast at the very least, you know? Whole treat as you want to be treated thing. Yeah, basically. Which seems to make sense in most people's lives. Do you know what I mean? Filthy about being a veggie. Uh, nothing filthy about being a veggie. I was in my teams, couldn't abide the taste of meat. There's everything about filthy about being a veggie. That's the reason why we call it filthy vegetarian. An avocado with a fuck ton of Worcestershire sauce. Question, Lily. Yeah, avocado is the one I'm thinking of. Like, for some reason, my brain just went a little bit blank. Do you find just plain avocado tastes like clean penis? Is that it? It's a thing. Is Marmite like Vegemite? Kind of. Kind of like Vegemite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like Vegemite. Though Vegemite has got a stronger taste to it. Japanese word for that meaty flavor. Okay, interesting. Um, the filthy is just happenstance. Definitely, definitely. Exactly the same way. Um, I will treat everyone kindly from the get-go until I see their true character. Then my perspective changes. Yeah, I just don't see the problem. Now you're a filth wizard. No matter what you have, hit, what you'd always be filthy. This is true. This is absolutely true. You know what I mean? Yeah, Vegemite, Vegemite is like a really strong Marmite, from what I understand, you know? I opened up stream and got an ad of sex, so that's good stuff. What? No. Was it? It was an advert. You, there was an advert to do with sex on my channel, Becca Beggary? And first of all, how dare I miss an advert? Second of all, oh my fucking god, they're finally, they're finally catering to my content. They're finally catering to my content. It's only been a million, billion, trillion years. Do you know what I mean? If they're running sex ads on my channel, definitely. You know what I mean? How's it going, Shade Secret? How you doing? I'm so worried about knowing what you mean. So if it's one of those fruits that you have to eat when it's the right ripeness, and it's hard to do in the UK, like mine when they're just ripe, um, so when they have that kind of firm texture and fresh taste, Rather than soft and creamy texture that's better for making guacamole. Oh, guacamole. Like, I am not a fan of, like, I do not like avocado. I don't like the texture of it. It's just, like, it's just not my thing. Okay? But I was watching, I was watching a whole load of TikToks that were basically people reacting. They'd be like, no, no, they, it doesn't. It doesn't. Then they'd have a, a spoonful of avocado, like straight from it, spoonful, put it in their mouth and be like, it does. It tastes like clean penis. Oh, ruined. And I was like, amazing. It's made, this is what possibly one of my favorite facts about the thing. Do you know what I mean? That's not me, like, but savory think soy sauce, ripe tomatoes, miso soup. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, I think I know what you mean. A HSE thing, so it seems that Island only had. So it was about stopping STDs and getting tested. This is amazing. I have an entire fucking YouTube video about uh, about STIs and getting tested and making sure you're clean and and doing the test kits from home and stuff. I am I am all for pushing. I fucking hell, I've got condoms as a business card. Do you know what I mean? I am all for pushing the safe sex. I am very glad that they're putting that on my stream. Very glad they're putting. It's probably the first time that an advert's actually been appropriate for this channel. Do you know? Avo and mushroom, similar smooth texture. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Whereas mushrooms I find particularly like slimy. Uh, avocado is just like you know. Do you like Avo? Does that mean you don't like clean penis? I think I feel like it's the texture of avocado that I don't like. 
I feel like if an avocado had the firmness of a of a robust, clean penis, I'd probably be more. I'd probably enjoy it more. Do you know? I was in a call with my friend, and she did the exact same thing of taste testing it by herself. Did she think it tasted like clean penis? Just relayed that to Southpaw. He never looked so um, simultaneously repulsed and confused. This makes me very happy. It makes me happy to know I've disgusted Southpaw. It makes me very happy. Thought is all an act. Would take too much effort to pretend to be someone or someone. Yes, 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 yes. 100%. 100%. Yeah, you subscribed. Most kind. Razotter for three months at tier three. At tier three, Razotter. Fucking hell. I get out. The people throw some hype in chat. If you got Richards, throw Richards in chat. If you got dirty mushrooms, throw dirty mushrooms in chat. Well, I inscribe the name of Razotter on the tier three mirror of Vane. Razot, are you fucking gem? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You deserve it. Oh, god damn it. You fucking absolute glorious individual. By having your name on the tier 3 mirror of vein, it means you get early access to all my YouTube videos, access to my personal Snapchat, not a bum Snapchat, you cheeky devil. I need to stop saying that thing about the YouTube videos because I do not release the YouTube content at the moment. I am too fucking busy. But anyway. And of course, you get access to all those sexy little emotes, including the Richard emote and... The mushroom emote. But the most important thing, the most important thing is you gotta roll over every morning as a tier three. Look in your tiny tier three mirror. Go, oh God. I wish they'd bring around cloning so I could go fuck myself. Literally. Mm. Ooh, her, sexy. Ooh, yes, meow. You know? You know? Do you know what I mean? Unsure about this conversation? Penis is not for me. But, uh, but what if it's my penis? My spindly goblin cock, coiled like a corkscrew, ribbed for your pleasure. When I have sex, it's like running a stick of a fence. Totally tickle your fancy. You know? Coming in here, getting a cheeky little smolder, talking about penis. What do you expect? Expect Lucy Lockhart. What do you expect? Oh my lord! <laughs> Thank you very much for that small loser, you beautiful human being. Um, fornication under consent of the king. Exactly. First time you've noticed a tier three mirror? Yeah. So we've got not that you can see them here, but up in this corner above this giant mirror here, we've got a whole load of like little mirrors. And they're all tier 3 mirrors. The tier 3s get a separate mirror. So if you're a tier 1, you get written in gold. Tier 2, you get written in black um, on the, the mirrors so that you pop against the other um, the other names. And then tier 3, you get written on a tiny mirror. And tier 4, you get access to my bum Snapchat. You know? Um, forget your thing is different for each different tier, yeah. The, the one that I say the least is actually the tier 2. There aren't, that, there aren't that many tier 2s, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that by any stretch of imagination, but, you know. My ace ass is blushing right now. Yay! I like stirring the lusts, you know? I love stirring the lusts. You've sold it to me. Huzzah! <laughs> that doesn't sound comfortable. What do you mean? Big fleshy spring. Have you experienced, have you even experienced a balance dream if you don't spend some of the time questioning your sexuality? Accurate. Accurate. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Because you love you enough, we skip a level. Oh my lord. Well, I've got, I've got no issue with that by any stretch of imagination. No issue with that at all, you know? You glorious individuals. Taking off to do the driving thing. No worries, Lady Clear. You take it easy, a beautiful human being. It was amazing seeing you the weekend. You take it, you take it easy. You have a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, but, uh, River Seven. Well, hello there. Dean has uh, requested that I come over and confuse you a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? What can I say? Sometimes it's just a little moment of tantalizing that really makes us quiver in the quim, so to speak, you know? God damn. You just... You're just so tasty. You know? 
Um, I'm jealous there's a second yellow person in chat now. River Seven's been yellow for a long time. Yes, stink Southpaw. There's a couple of people that, that go for the, the full yellow names. Do you know what I mean? I'm being very careful because yellow person has racial connotations that I really don't want to go down. I know that's not what you meant, though. We're all good. We're all good, okay? Before somebody, like, clips me out of context and goes, Ah, oh, Valenvain! I'm very quickly cut. This is the only, like, this is, like, I would say one of the main disadvantages about being a content creator is the fact that everything you do is on the internet forever. And things can be taken out of context. So you kind of got to, like, safeguard your ass every two seconds. You know? Um... Making fun and trying to cram in all my work before I go on a trip this week. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Good point. Yellow named individually is apparently dark as much. It's it's cool. It's cool. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? There aren't that many yellow names in the channel I mod for. So um also apart from the streamer branded colour. Oh, that's pretty really cool. That's really cool. I like that. It also, yeah, it makes you pop against the uh the background. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Anyway, people, shall we jump back into the game? All right, let's do the whole game thing because that's what we're here for. What? Music, boss. I mean, you're here to to inappropriately touch yourself about my existence, but the whole point of today's stream is meant to be the game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So let's do that. Let's do that. You like the idea of matching streamer brand? We've got a yellow because it stands out. Yes. Also, your your entire brand. Southpaw is around the color yellow. You know? But um, bum, 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 bum. My partner was ringing me all morning just to get me to whisper down the phone to him. Don't work too hard. I love that. I love that. Um, readable colors. You're on a sort of dingy green. It really depends on where you're, where you're looking at it. So on my OBS, Southpaw is like a bright, bright yellow. On my Twitch dashboard, Southpaw is a very, very snotty yellow. It's probably the best way of putting it. Hollow's Lantern. Right. Let's go to Hollow's Lantern. If we can. You know how I am with colors? Why do you think I tell you? He draws 69 stitches? Fucking yes. Right, okay. So... Is there anywhere to land on Hollow's Lantern? Or can we fly down a volcano? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. There are stuff in here, though. Fucked it. Fucked it. Big boy did it and ran away. Readable colors is a chat appearance setting that I have on. Oh, okay. I would imagine then what that might... That's a really interesting one, Armpit Lover, because I would imagine that I've... Because I've got dark mode on, um, on my on my stream things, um, it actually makes it harder to read certain names but i would imagine that it's probably darkened the yellow if you have the light mode on so it's like all white screens and shit you know buckle up buckle up buttercup how's it going taking how you doing 
Did you order some stuff? Did I order what stuff? What stuff were you referring to? What stuff are you referring to? What stuff are you referring to? Oh, 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 oh. What's going on? You've got dark mode and the yellow stands out um, really well. I think I've got readable. I must have the same setting that Armpit Lover has on there. Thanks for the Fs, friends. Thanks for the Fs. Hello, what is this? Well, let's go and have a look at this thing. What is this, friend? It's alright, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. I only destroyed everything, it's fine. It's fine, it's only everything. A little bit of everything, all of the time. Fuck the landing camera, I never use it anyway. A little bit of everything, all of the time. Okay. Good V. Um, we have a go live dice, so I can't play. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. I actually can't wait. I think it's going to be so much fucking fun. Okay. Oh, shit. Hello. What is this? No, 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 no. No! God damn it. All of the things. Do do do. Do do do. I didn't actually investigate this area very well, to be fair. Um. Think the legs line? No. No, I won't. I'm going to sit here and let you sweat. Okay, so this is where I was before. Oh, going straight down the bottom there. What if we just do that? Does that do anything? Oh, okay. What are you aligning to? Or are you just going to keep going around in circles? Hmm. Okay. You are an edgy goth nerd? Yes. Am I back on whatever it is? Yes, I am. What is this, please? Spare jackpack fuel if it's not going to. 
check with my little scout and it, I used, I do it too, used it. I do to you with what? What? I don't, don't get, no, 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 no. Can't read. Too preoccupied with stuff. Like this. What is this up here? Okay, so I'm back on Brittle Hollow. In an entirely different area. Okay. Learning stuff and learning things and stuff and things. You know? Who's gonna be the first to crochet a purple jacket, Valen? I don't know. I don't know whether I'd wear it. Like a jacket I probably wouldn't wear. A jumper I might. A jumper I might. If it was like a like kind of like this one that I'm wearing, I don't wear that much like yarn based stuff, you know. I don't know if there's any other items you need or if that's everything. As a programmer, I find it very necessary given the amount of time I spent squinting uh, incomprehensible squiggles. Then, but a writer. Now I'll get some yarn and a hook. It's a place to start. I can get him used to the stitches, etc. So you have to check around the internet, especially Ravelry. But if you want to make him, um, I feel something about it. Stop feeding money. You need to get a new hobby. <laughs> yes, yes. Take up crocheting or something like that, you know. Um, has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I complimented your eyes. How can you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. It could be a shift in the light spectrum. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like the violent friend? Yeah, so with the... the we know that the playful moon is uh, the other doodad. Oh, water. Our ship's over there. Okay. Much better. Go find the ship and have a look, see? You know? Weirdly, never considered writing on dark mode. Should give that a try. I don't even know what that would look like. Right, this was what I was trying to look at before. But before I do that, let's just quickly... Um, jump back into here and replenish the oxygen and fuel. Oh, yeah, and med kit, I suppose, would also be useful. Right, so this is where we were before. Okay, so we've we've been zapped back to the, the same place, which is a good thing. Okay. Is this a Namai ship, perhaps? I'd never go back, you know, I've got, um, you've gone dark mode. Okay. Oh, lordy. Okay. Begin flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Await departure from vessel. Escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Now launching escape pod one. Alert. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Scanning external environment. Scanning, scan complete, minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy detected, verdict hospitable. Right, what I really need to do at some stage, that's where I've come from, so we'll jump down here. Emergency escape hatch. What I really need to do is I want to jump onto, oh. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. I wonder why the black hole hasn't eaten the rest of this planet. The 
black hole zaps everything to the white hole. Okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, we found a thing. Is everyone unharmed? I'm running out of energy, gonna like, no worries, River Seven, you take it easy, you take it easy. Lurk away, friend. Be learning crochet, but that will never stop me from eating Monty. Oh no, little cro uh, hold snack holder for Monty. No worries, taking you take it easy, you beautiful human being. Thanks very much for stopping by. I will 110% be going to the shop for snacks. I have realized that my my house is out of snaffly treats, and I need snaffly treats. It's out of snaffly treats because Monty eats them all because he's a little shit. But, you know. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I will continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its service. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't last, won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down these cliffs. Perhaps we could build platforms, which is what I've just destroyed. Classic. And this is an escape pod? A, a beacon, I suppose? Interesting. So that was a Namai ship. Oh, I love this. That is fucking madness. Right, ship, let's go. Landed on it, repaired. We're good. Uh, maybe Kale will feed Monty, he wouldn't. Maybe if you let Kale feed Monty, he wouldn't feel the need to steal your snaffly treats. That is not the way this works! Don't you try and fight me with logic! What do you take me for? Subscribed. My you beautiful being. The child is almost ready to emerge from the warmth of the womb. Almost, almost. We're nearly there. No. Not gonna work, is it? I need to find a... I'll be with you in a minute, mate. Oh. Okay. Glorious people! Throw some hype in chat. Say a massive welcome back to It's Matty again. It's Matty again. I shall now inscribe your name on the mirror of vein. For eight months, you glorious individual.
By having your name on the mirror of Vaney means you get early access to all my YouTube videos, access to my personal Snapchat, not a bum Snapchat, you cheeky devil. I see you. I see the thirst in your eyes. I see what's going on here. And of course, you get access to all the sexy little emotes for the most important thing. The most important thing. You'll roll over every morning. Look in the mirror. Oh, God, I look rough. But God damn, do I make rough look good? Mm, ooh, her, sexy. Ooh, yes, meow. You know? You know? Your glorious individual. How's it going? How's it going? Resume. Okay, so I precariously launched that there. That's fine. Black Hole Forage District. Eye Shrine District. Melt Water District. Okay, and School District. So that one's Melt Water. Well, let's have a look through. Oh! Ah, stuff up there as well. So they've built this civilization around the black hole. That leads to the dude over there. Cool. Okay. They built the civilization around the black hole so that it doesn't implode in on it. How the black hole isn't in all of this stuff, because, you know, dense gravitational pulls. I suppose I should... Fix that. Ah, fuck it, doesn't matter. Don't have the time for this shit. Black hole forge control. Black hole forge? You forging things in the black hole? Oh my god. Okay. The Ash Twins project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Oh, that, that was it? Can I remove the scroll? What happens if I remove the scroll and put it in this one? Nothing? Okay. Oh, more scrolls. Let's do this. Find out. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. It would I would very much like to craft a such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the black hole forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. The safest path is the best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Is it? I thought, is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with their least po with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is that we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to by Anona, who created the original design, and our black hole forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Abandoning vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, its knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It will be best relearn, I think. Really interesting. Really interesting, because that means that there's... So, was it like a, an expedition of a crew? that crash landed here in this solar system and then started looking for the eye, which I believe is the eye of the universe that they were looking for. I feel strange trying to recreate a known as warp core without him. At times, 
it still feels strange to be no longer his. To no longer be his, very young, apprentice. And for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling. But I don't want to be disappointing. I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Still, all I have, all I can give is my best. And as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we find another way to achieve what need, what's needed. I can have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system, and I have never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I have bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Ah. Huh. Hmm, intriguing. Intriguing. Just sat watching you and my cat ran into my room, climbed onto my lap. Oh, Going to chicken curry pies. Oh my lord, I love this. I love this. Itchy ear, itchy ear, itchy ear, itchy ear, itchy ear. Um, Insta ones, they're amazing. So glad you're playing this. It's, it's such a you game. It is a very me game. As you can tell by how engrossed I'm getting with it, you know? Solution one. We could retrieve the warp core from Vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good Namai perished there. My mentor, Collis, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid anglerfish entirely. Ooh, okay, okay. But where's the fun in that? I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in the fossil fish cave when we were children. What Melori and I have learned from that fossil is would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best... Recall those present when the vessel crashed said it would sustain lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was a little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if I no long, if it, even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, providing we are able to transport it back here. Ha! Interesting. So. Thank you. Um, so. Yeah, you subscribed. Most kind. Hello there, o slash. Maria Deck, you beautiful human being. People, throw some hype in chat, say, man. Welcome back to Maria Deck as well. Everyone, is, this, is today a resub day? It's today resub day. What is going on? What is happening here? What is happening here? So many beautiful people coming in. Maria Deck, I should now inscribe your name on the mirror. V. Maria Deck, your name will. Your, having your name on the mirror vein means you get you do not get early access to my YouTube videos because I am not making YouTube videos at the moment. So that's completely superfluous. You get access to all the sex. You get access to my personal Snapchat, not a bum Snapchat, and of course you get access to all the sexy little emails. But the most important thing, the most important thing. Go roll over every morning. Look in the mirror. Go, oh God, I look rough. But God damn, do I make rough look good? Mm, ooh, hrr, sexy. Ooh, yes, meow. You know? Yeah, you know? Recovering. Um, what are you even up to? Good, just procrastinating, convincing myself it's more important to watch the stream than it is to finish work I'm meant to be doing. We've got a meeting tonight this evening, South Pole. You better not be doing... Excuse me, you better not be doing other people's um, work while we're having a meeting, you cheeky devil. You cheeky devil. I've got things to do with podcasts and things to do with Ken and all kinds of stuff that I want to talk to you about. All kinds of things, you cheeky minx. You know? How was it? It was fucking amazing. 
Even if Panda says it was shit. It was fucking amazing. Right. We're going up here. Ooh, I liked that. That was a really nice... What does this do? Oh, okay. Go up. Where are you taking me? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, it really matters. I'll just go down there. Go down the water slide, you know? Yeah, it was fucking amazing. Absolutely recharged my big extrovert batteries. Felt very good about life. Felt very, very good about life. Ooh, where's this leading? Oh, hello. Out. God damn it. So if I just follow the water all the way down, that's like, oh, oh, very good. Like that. That was a nice little detail. Having a secret escape routes. I've probably got another 10 minutes before it blows up again. Where are you, secret little tunnel? So this was in case you didn't, in case you decided not to fly the ship into the center of the planet, which I definitely did, so fuck those guys, you know? Quickly pop into the ship and uh, recharge the old fuel, because this is a perfect landing, look at this. Oh, okay. Soft locked myself. Perfect landing. Perfect landing. Alright, we don't have to wait for long. Perfect landing! We don't have to wait long for things to blow up, yeah, so we're alright. Subscribe. You know? Most kind. Maria Deck gifted a tier one sub to perfect landing. They have given 20 gift subs in the channel. While we're waiting for us to, waiting for the universe to blow up. Maria Deck, thank you very much for gifting that sub to Perfect Landing. By having your name on the mirror of vein, it means you get early access to all my YouTube... No, you don't! You don't! I'm not making YouTube content at the moment. You get access to all those sexy little emotes, and of course you get access to all those... I am going to have to fucking do it all again. Anyway! Every morning you gotta roll over and look in the mirror and go, God, I look rough, but goddamn, do I make rough look good? Mm, ooh, her, sexy, ooh, yes, meow, you know? 
I got there eventually. Fucking perfect landing. Stop asking why names exist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you subscribed. Most kind. Diva Dwarf gifted a tier one sub to Sralok. They have given 18 gift subs in the channel. Oh, you can see it all there. Cool as fuck. Diva Dwarf, you beautiful human being. Thank you so much for gifting that to you. Oh, I got out of that for a second there. Thank you very much so much for gifting that cheeky little sub to Sarah Rock. I'll get on that in a second once I've just done this. Sarah Rock, I'll invite, inscribe your name on the middle of Vin. By having your name on the middle of Vin, it means you get early access to all my... You, you don't! I need to stop saying that! Yeah, access to my sexy little Snapchat, not a bum Snapchat, cheeky devil, and of course you get access to all those wonderful little emotes. And the most important thing, the most important thing, go roll over every morning, look in the mirror. Oh god, I look rough. But god damn, do I look rough? Look good. Mmm, ooh, sexy, ooh, yes, meow, you know? You know, you beautiful human being. This is because I want you to know that you're loved and appreciated. Uh, I, but you people already do more than enough for me. You do more than enough for me. Glorious beans. You think people were somehow making them, but it just makes them. Oh, honestly, yeah, no, it, honestly. There are some people that go out of their way to make them um, in order to gift subs to them, but the vast majority of them are ones that have already been made. Right. We're not going there because we've already been there. Um, over oh, Sararok being loved and appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In which case, go go wild. Go crazy. Anything that involves other people getting love and attention, I'm all for, you know? You don't have to look for an LED remote. Or return shot. No worries. You take it easy. Um, Valance Jumper looks really cozy. I'm jealous. I'm getting myself a blanket. It is very cozy. It is one of my, my more cozy jumpers. So this is the Ember Twin. We know that we can get something special here. But before I do that... I want to land on the stupid little thing. That thing. No, 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 no. Turns out the sun's gravity is pretty impressive. Uh, swiftly moving on. I missed. Oh, shit. God damn it. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. So we know that that probe does fuck all. Literally means nothing. We don't know why it was launched, though. We don't know why it was launched. Come here, suit. Always wear the suit, because I the amount of times I fucking nearly died. Right. Let's go back to Brittle Hollow. investigate some more. So we know that there is a moon that comes around in these parts. Right. Move you. What is this, please? Look at me actually using the landing mode and everything. God. 
Look at that. I'm a really real person. That looks interesting. Now I'm intrigued. Hello? Brittle hollow projection stone. It might just burn up soon. Am I you done? Okay. I mean, there's definitely a possibility of the whole burning up in the sun thing, I suppose. Hey, buddy. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule that you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of the Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of the Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for your directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Yeah, we know where that was. We've already seen all that. Yeah, hello. So we've already seen all that stuff. That's fine. But that's new. Huh. Okay. So, stuff. How's it going, Zyronach? How you doing? Having some day? Look away, look away, friend. All right, there, Icarus. Look, I just like to throw myself into the abyss. Ooh, you're interesting. What does this do? This is so intriguing. I have so many questions. The Southern Observatory. All right, okay, well, let's go observe. Calm yourself! The Crossroads. Oh, okay. The Crossroads is that way. Southern Observatory is that way. This has some inscriptions here. The shuttle is currently resting at the Quantum Moon. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Oh, my God. I am all over this. Like a bad rash. Let's fucking go, sunshines. Welcome back, Amy. You might have just burnt up in the sun. You might be right. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Is that a gravity thing? I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such an unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear us no ill will. The universe is as we are. I am ready. Okay. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do?
Okay. So, that's me flying into my ship. Nope, this is me falling into a black hole. This is me falling into a black hole. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Fucking hell. Jesus. But puckering. 5p, 10p, 5p, 10p. Oh, oh, hello. Let's go uh, this way. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Uh, okay. The crossroads. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was a crossroads. All right. And that's just giving me the example that I can walk up those if I want to. Okay, I see. Interesting. Okay. Be welcomed in this place. As you stand... As above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. All right. Oh, okay. But instead of that, how about we go up that way? Like that. The Southern Observatory. Oh. Can I not get in there? Watching you react to that was great. Thanks, Proper Lemon. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't do that. Right. Whoops. Never mind. But I don't... Ooh. Oh, this thing is actually just... Whoa! Okay, Starshine. That was not what I was expecting. Huh. So how the fuck do I get in there? Not, it's not good enough. Freeze detected. Oxygen. Oh. This is where I was before. Please move in, please, and just go wander about freely. Yeah, we've read all this before. Yeah. We've read all those things before. That's the rock that keeps moving. Ah. Okay. So back down we go. To investigate everything. Getting up there is going to be a ball ache, but I'm going to try. If we can, before the universe explodes. Let's go. Ow. Ow.
Okay, that did not help. Okay, so that's the observatory bit. It looks like there is a way in in this observatory section. But there isn't... Okay. Cool. What I need to do is get this doodad back up there. And then... Work out where the observatory section is. Vitals critical. is glass. go into things too much for fear of accidental spoilers but the way that they designed and then modeled the planet so that it can fall apart like that bit just drop past you just blows up is it just blows my goddamn mind so freaking clever oh definitely definitely so this bit is directly underneath this bit and if Van realizes that he can Dean careful you know what I'm like? Even even like tip bits and information like that I consider to be spoilers. Um wouldn't look cool without a superhero landings. Fact. How's it going, Narrow Wizard? How's it going? How's it going, Pennsylvanian? How you doing? Surface integrity five percent. That's because that's gonna blow up soon. What did that just do? Huh. Thanks, Kale. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I did it? I did it. Because I went into space with a cracked visor. That would that would do it. That would that would do it. That bleh. That is a 210% success rate of how to murder yourself. Throw yourself into a giant rock. 
fling your yeet yourself through a black hole and turn up in space with a cracked visor. Now I don't know about you, but that that would definitely do it for me. That would definitely do it for me. Right, I'm going over there. Am I going over there? No, not yet. Fuck it. Let's go! Do you ever get a slight vertigo sensation from the big jumps? Not really, but I am a hazard of a human being. Um, who will happily, like... Oh, hello, hello. Hey, autopilot. You want to not yeet me into the fucking planet? What was that? What? Oh my god. Right. We're going to do this the uh, more entertaining way. I'm a hazard of a human being. Do you mind if I steal on? No, by all means, do it. Do it, because I am a hazard of a human being. And I encourage other people to be hazards too. Why? Because the hazards are always the ones that have the most fun. Okay, so that's where it ended up. Let's... What is this, please? I don't need to worry about the landing gear. What the fuck am I doing? Ooh, Jesus, calm yourself. Come on now, play the game. Um... Yeah, I'm a hazard of a human being, so I will just happily eat myself into a black hole. That's fine. Oh! Right there, Starshine. Throughout the entire building. Throughout the entire building. Okay. Useful to know. There was... So I've landed in somebody's face. Journey here from the South Pole has been... Um, I'm going with harrowing because of the all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Played around for a bit. There's some sort of old new iron path. And it starts across from my campsite. Inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything. Just stairs leading down. I can handle the stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow a path to see where it leads. Okay. So that's where our doodad went. The, yeah. Trees leading out of it. There's a lot of these little Namai creatures. Hello. Can we take that? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. Oh, okay. take any of them. Let's go. And they called it a mine. Okay. We haven't been down this route yet. But yeah, no, I'm I'm like I'm the kind of person that will happily go like skydiving or Cliff jumping or the that, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm that kind of person. Gravity Crystal Workshop. Unidentified signal nearby. Nearby. Dead. Wait, 
how how close is nearby? Thirteen thousand. Oh, that's the do. Oh, we're just following his path. Jesus, this is stupid. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I've made it this far, though. I guess that passes his folks on. Now I eventually get it back up that path. But wow, this place is sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and the East Gravity Cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supply screaming during the trip down here from the surface. Plan goes skydiving on stream. Not against it. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my, refill my tank. Ah, uh, we can get into that thing. That's where I want to go. The Hanging Sea. So this is the Hanging Sea. The Gravity Cannon. There's the gravity cannon. And then this leads to the dude. He's here. Hey, buddy. Go the other way this time. Um, damn it. What? No, no, no. I wanted to go that way. Bastard. Yeah, fuck you, guy. There was absolutely no reason why I needed to go this way at all. You know? Just 90k more before you get another PG. No. No. Love the visual effect around the black hole. I am a big fan. I like the fact that that exists as like a an emergency thing. However, so does the Does the planet start off as a uh... the planet to start off as a um as a hole and then as we land on it it starts breaking apart K towards PG. Oh, damn it. I hate it. Oh, interesting. White hole. Interesting. Like that. That was cool.
Cheers, bud. Ow. <laughs> Look at that. Yeeted to correction. I love those purple transport shoes. Visually very cool. You're traveling in them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right. Brendos. That leads to another tube over there. I think that is where I need to go. And if that's the case, this is incorrect. I should not have come here. Flying out this way. Don't know where I'm going. How's it going, Rainbow Ross? How you doing? I don't know what that is, but I'm going that way. fuel. I'm like hunched over trying to get it. I'm like, yes. Okay. Don't know what it is, but it's flashing at me. Kind of views about how my half pinned browser tabs have mysteriously disappeared. Oh, how about half your pinned tab? Is it potentially because they are obsolete, or did you like delete any of your history or anything like that recently? Something on those lines. Also, how's it going, no par voice? I didn't see you sneak in there, you cheeky devil. I don't even know what this is, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Once your fuel's depleted, you use oxygen as a propellant. I've got no idea what that is.
Pretty damn cool if you ask me. I tell you what, let's just watch the end of the universe together, shall we? Looks like a satellite. It does look like a satellite. What do you reckon, people? Do you reckon I can make it to my ship? Twenty-six point three kilometers away on that planet down there. It'll be interesting to see if anything happens to it because it, like at the beginning of the game, uh, game it doesn't look like the sun's about to explode. It doesn't look like it's in the last stretches of life. So I'm really intrigued as to why it blows up. Ooh. Good night, traveler. Exactly, cake bite. This is the thing. People talk about, like, how awful it would be suffocating in space. Or not even suffocating, but, like, you know, like, wandering in space and what have you. But I think if you, if you resign yourself to it, if you just like, do you know what? I'm resigned to this now. Like, you would just go, you would probably just look at the stars and be like, you know what? This is fucking beautiful. This is absolutely fucking beautiful. You know? You know? And on that note, friends, that's where I'm going to have to leave it.